Ginger, also known as Zingiber officinal, is a hot fragrant spice made from the rhizome of a plant. It is sliced or powdered for cooking, preserved in syrup or candied. It highly contains nutrients and bioactive compounds and can be used in both cooking and medicine. It is also rich in enzymes which help promote food digestion and body detoxification. It is commonly used for upset stomach and nausea. There is indication that it helps. It seems to help digestion and flow of saliva. It seems to aid nausea caused by vertigo as well. There is mixed evidence about whether ginger helps with nausea caused by motion sickness, surgery or chemotherapy. But regardless of its benefits, you shouldn't consume ginger in these cases. Number 1. If you are scheduled for surgery, consuming ginger at the time of surgery may lead to risk of excessive bleeding. If you are scheduled for surgery, avoid consuming ginger within the two weeks prior to it. Number 2. If you have blood disorders. Ginger increases the blood flow and stimulates blood circulation and it's very important for people who suffer from diabetes, obesity, Raynaud's disease or peripheral artery disease. But it can be very dangerous for people who suffer from hemophilia. Hemophilia is a genetic disorder in which blood's ability to clot is reduced, which means that sufferers from this condition could bleed to death even from a minor injury. So, people who have this condition must avoid ginger because not only can this plant nullify the effects of their medications, the overstimulation of blood circulation in these people can lead to severe and in cases deadly hemorrhaging. Number 3. If you are pregnant, ginger contains stimulants that promote muscles health and enhance digestion. Nonetheless, using it during pregnancy may lead to premature contractions and preterm births. In fact, if you are in the last trimester of your pregnancy, you are especially advised avoid using ginger. However, you can use it in small bits to relieve morning sickness. Number 4. If you are taking certain types of medications, persons who take medications for diabetes and high blood pressure belong to a special risk group since ginger can alter their effects on the body. Beta blockers, insulin drugs or anticoagulants when mixed with ginger can be very dangerous. Ginger fuels blood thinning and minimizes blood pressure. These properties reduce the effects of these medications. Number 5. If you are underweight, ginger is rich in fibers, can raise the stomach pH and can stimulate digestive enzymes. Hence, it leads to fat burning and cuts food cravings. It may result the weight loss, hair loss, menstrual disorders, and poor muscle mass. Therefore, if you are aiming to gain weight, you should avoid consuming ginger or ginger products. Substitute for ginger. If you belong to any of these four groups, stop using ginger immediately. Use cayenne pepper, sweet peppers, or red paprika instead. According to Milka Rasevic, a world-famous nutritionist, peppers have similar effects as ginger and they can be used as its substitute. If you like spicy food, you can consume red paprika and if you don't, you can always opt for sweet peppers and add them to your lemonade and prepare yourself a perfect drink for cleansing your body.